Hello and welcome to the Start Here video for BA 211, Principles of Accounting 1. In this video, I will introduce you to the course and show you around Blackboard. First, let's talk about the course. BA 211, Principles of Accounting 1, covers foundational concepts related to financial accounting. We will cover nine chapters in 11 weeks. Here is the detailed course schedule you can find this schedule in the course information link in Blackboard. You can see the topics, assignments, quizzes, and exams that we will cover in this course. The course syllabus can also be found in the course information area. My contact information and office hours are on the top of the syllabus. There is also a grading breakdown and other important policies concerning attendance, late work, disability accommodations, and academic honesty, among others. You should review these policies. Here is what you will need to accomplish the first week of the term. First, complete the Welcome for Class Participation on Blackboard, found in the Start Here menu. To do this, enter a thread and answer the questions at the top of the screen. Next, you need to click the Welcome Announcement link on the Start Here menu. This will take you to the announcement page. The first announcement you will see is the course welcome and introduction. This intro announcement will give you a description of the nature of the course, as well as some important links that will allow you to set up your McGraw-Hill Connect subscription login. For this course, you will need to have the McGraw-Hill Connect subscription. The hard copy textbook is optional. Some students may find the hard copy textbook uh, important for their style of study. If you need uh, a textbook to study with without internet connection, then you may want to get the hard copy textbook. If you can do all of your study online, then a, an ebook is available through the McGraw-Hill Connect subscription. A couple of things to note. The coursework is structured to allow you to progress through the material at your own pace. But I want to caution you right up front. Do not get behind. I encourage you to complete at least one chapter per week. This is the pace that I, that I will use to cover the material in the live class. All assignments are prerequisite to one another in order. For example, when you are doing work for chapter one, you must first complete, and I will show you here in the chapter one folder in the coursework area, you must first complete the chapter one smart book, learn smart assignment. After you complete that, you can go on to the chapter one homework assignment. After you complete both of these, you can then go on and take the quiz. So they're all pre prerequisite in order. There is, per chapter, there is an extra credit assignment that you can do that basically is watching and participating in interactive presentations for the uh, chapter material. So you may want to do that. All of these assignments within each of the chapter folders, you can do as many times as you want. In order to go on to the next, the prerequisite requirement is for you to complete the assignment to at least a 75% level, right? So a solid C. And then the, the next assignment will be open or unlocked so you can go in and, and complete that uh, next assignment uh, homework quiz. Exams will open up for you to take once the prerequisite chapter work is complete. So for example, exam one will be opened up once you complete chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4 material at a 75% grade or higher. The exams, just so you know, can only be taken, they're the only thing that have a limit on the amount of times you can take it. The exams can be taken maximum three times. So once initially and then two retakes. You'll find that the material in the assignments and also in the exams are what's called algorithmic, which means you'll basically be given the same uh, problems, but 
the answers or the numbers or whatever it is will change. So you're really going to get different problems each time. Same content is going to be covered. Every week you will be required to record a journal entry. This can be found in the weekly journal area link on the left of Blackboard. As you go into the uh, journal, journal, the weekly journal, click on part uh, participation journal and then you can click on create journal entry. What you need to do is you need to answer all of the five questions that are that are asked, right? So the same questions will be asked every week. The answers may be a short yes or no. Uh, it's going, some may take you longer. This journal entry, this participation journal is just between you and I. So uh, feel free to let me know if you are having some difficulty in the class, you need some extra help, put it in your journal entry. This journal entry is going to be 10% of your grade. So I'm giving it enough points in percentage to uh, really help you out, right? It's a pretty easy assignment to do. Or it could be detrimental to you in the end if you just don't get your journal entries done. So get the journal entry done. It's easy. It's meant to really help and support you as you progress through the class, give you the help that you need, and provide you just an opportunity to give some feedback to me. So one way to do this uh, is to copy and paste, kind of like I'm doing now, right? So you can copy and paste this material, right? You can right click and copy or you can hit your control C and copy and do create journal entry. And then uh, you can do a title, like for example, uh, week one entry, something like that. And then you can uh, paste the those questions right into the response box and go ahead and put your re responses right in there. Uh, if you didn't attend class, if you didn't do one of the things, you might get a little in a little more depth. Let me know maybe why you missed. If you are going to miss class, I suggest uh, just heads up. Let me know beforehand. Uh, if you need anything because you're missing class, I can get it to you before that uh, time. If there's a special circumstance that comes up, let me know as soon as possible so I can work with you on that. Uh, again, the exams can be taken three times. They can be taken on your own. Okay, So you can progress through the class, take the exams on your own, and there will be opportunities that I'm going to provide as well to take the exams in class if you want to do that just so you know, students that need to use the lab to do the exams can be given that opportunity to take it in a testing environment so we'll do that as well please review the information in the course information area of blackboard so here's course information so there's lots of good uh, information in there uh, there's also a course management area that will be useful for, useful for you. It's going to have your grades in there. It's going to have McGraw-Hill, your McGraw-Hill link uh, to the course. Something maybe real quick that will help you out as you get going on the course. Back at the start here menu, there are links here in the welcome announcements that will help you get going on the McGraw-Hill uh, Connect. So here in the welcome announcement, okay? So there's links here in the welcome announcements that are going to help you get going with your Connect subscription. There is a two-week uh, courtesy login. So if you can't get uh, financial aid or for some other reason you can't buy that subscription right off, you have two weeks to do that during the term. You should not wait to do your homework until you get your subscription. Go in and get the courtesy subscription. You can switch over to your paid subscription easily. So don't wait just because you can't buy it right off. Get in there, get the, the courtesy uh, subscription and get going on your work right from the get-go. This is the link right here uh, that you can use to go to the uh, course login. Okay, so you're gonna be able to go in here and, and connect to it. There's gonna be a, a registration button here once the course is opened. And there's also a video link here underneath the course link that will help you kind of walk you through how to set up your subscription, how to uh, go and buy your subscription if you haven't bought it yet, 
and, and then how to do that courtesy login if you need to do the courtesy login. So I'm really looking forward to this term. Accounting is fun. It's going to be an awesome term, and, and I look forward to working with you.